In this video, we will show you how to assemble your Tax Neobike Plus and pair it with the Tax Training Smartphone app. For this video, you will need your boxed Neobike Plus, a tablet, a set of your preferred cycling pedals, and a second person to assist with bike assembly. For this video, we will use an Apple iPad and a set of Rally Power meter pedals. Start by opening your Neobike Plus box. You will need the help of a second person to safely lay the box down to remove the contents. Once you have removed all of the parts from your box and laid them out, we can begin assembling the bike. You will need one 90mm bolt, one 130mm bolt, two washers from the assembly kit, the bike frame, and the front legs. Tilt the trainer back to install the front legs. Insert the 90mm bolt through a washer and install it in the top hole of the leg using the 8mm hex key. Then insert the 130mm bolt in the washer and install it in the bottom hole of the leg. Now you can install the back legs. Tilt the trainer forward and insert the 65mm bolts through the washers. Install the bolts in the holes in the legs using the 8mm hex key. Once the legs are installed, you can turn the knobs on the legs to stabilize and level the trainer. Next, you can install the pedals of your choice. For installation instructions specific to your pedals, see the manufacturer's instructions. For the rally pedals, we will insert the right pedal first by applying a thin layer of grease on the pedal spindle. Insert the pedal spindle into the crank arm at the desired length. The Neobike Plus comes with five sizing options. Then tighten the spindle according to the instructions for your specific pedal set. You can repeat this process for installing the left pedal. Note that the left pedal spindle has a left-handed reverse thread. Then you can install the included bottle cage into the frame or install your preferred size bottle cage. The screws and washers come pre-installed in the frame. Use the 4mm hex key from the assembly kit to remove the screws and washers from the frame and then install the bottle cage. Now you are ready to install the saddle. Begin by using the 6mm hex key from the assembly kit to remove the set screw from the saddle rail. Then place the cap from the assembly kit on the rail. Then slide the saddle onto the rail. See your owner's manual for information on cycling posture and adjusting the trainer geometry to determine the saddle setback for you. Once you have determined the setback distance, secure the saddle using the M12 handle. Next, use the 8mm hex key to remove the set screw from the saddle post. Then, adjust the saddle height and secure with the M16 handle. You can also adjust the saddle angle using the 5mm hex key. Now it's time to install the handlebars. Start by using the 6mm hex key to remove the set screw from the handlebar rail. Then place the cap from the assembly kit onto the rail. Next, slide the handlebars onto the rail and adjust the handlebars to your preferred handlebar distance. Secure the handlebars using an M12 handle. Now use the 8mm hex key to remove the set screw from the handlebar post. You can then adjust the handlebar height and secure it using an M16 handle. If necessary, you can adjust the handlebar angle on your bike. Start by using the Torx 20 driver to remove the handlebar cover. Then use the 5mm hex key to loosen the four screws. Now you can install the fans to the back of the display. If you choose not to install the fans, skip to the next section for tablet mount instructions. To install the fans, move the fan cables out of the way and align the fans with the back of the display. Then use the Torx bolts from the assembly kit and the Torx 20 driver to install the fans. Connect the display and fan cables to the ports. 
you can use the knobs on the back of the fans to adjust the fan angle. Now place the rubber mat from the assembly kit into the tray below the display. Remove the plastic film from the display. Next, we'll attach your compatible tablet to the trainer. If you did not install the fans, see your owner's manual for instructions for installing the tablet mount. From the assembly kit, connect the rubber strap to the clip. Then connect the rubber strap to the mount on the back of the fans. Position the tablet on the trainer and secure with the clip. The clip fits most standard size tablets and you may need to remove the case from the tablet before attaching it to the trainer. You can also connect your tablet cable to one of the USB ports. Note, one port is for high output charging and one port is for low output charging. The low output port may not work for all devices. Finally, we can install the power cable. The power cable and adapter are located in the assembly kit. Do not attempt to use a third-party power cable or adapter with your Neobike Plus. Then connect the power cable to the power adapter and plug the power cable into a standard wall outlet. Rotate the crank. The display, fans, and LED on the bottom of the trainer should turn on. Now that the trainer is assembled, you can pair the trainer with your tax training app. Start by downloading the tax training app from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. Once installed, open the app. The tax training app will give you the option to allow notifications. The tax training app will ask to use Bluetooth. Select Continue with Garmin. Here you will be given the option to sign in or create a new account. For this video, we will sign in to an existing Garmin account. Agree to the EULA and select Next. This is where you will enter your personal information, then select Next. You are now signed in to the Tax Training app. Select Connect Trainer in the upper right. Then select your Neobike Plus from the list. Your trainer is connected when all icons are green. You can select Set Up Neobike Plus to update user settings such as weight and functional threshold power. And that's it. You have now set up your Neobike Plus. For more help, please visit support.garmin.com. Thanks for watching.